I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. This one off as we're ready to get this game underway. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And they make the stop at the 28. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 28. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. From their own 45 yard line. Second down. Robinson off the left side. They'll bring him down at the 43. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a D4. That makes it second and six. Man left, man left. From the 39 yard line. Second down. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. at the 50. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit, whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Smith, the return man. it to the 22-yard line. So the Aggies know that they can give this guy the ball, Kirk, 25, 30 times a game, and that's great. And if it's working, that's perfect. But also, as a defensive team, you look at him and you go, we worry about him too much. We could get burned somewhere else. Well, the defensive coach has told us this week the first thing that they have to do is stop this running game. And when, when you're convinced that you have to stop the running game, you leave your defensive backs, especially your corners, isolated one-on-one -on -one in coverage. And if they're smart, they'll try to take advantage of that and try to make some big plays in the passing game, maybe early, and then go back to old reliable, and that's running the football. Goes to the fullback and drops. From their own 27-yard line, it's third down. Tackled and reducing pickup. Strike to the fullback. Incomplete off his hands. It's second and ten. Ball on the 33. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do 
is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Gets to about the 37-yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. As a man, he'll lose big yards. That's a loss of four yards. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Tackle at the 42. Here's the handoff, and he's brought down right away. Excellent job by the defense to diagnose the play so quickly. This is really a well-coached unit. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He'll take it from the 18. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. And he's tackled at the 49-yard line. Open field. He's tackled at the 37 yard line. From the 37 yard line. First down. He's going to try and scramble. He gained a couple of yards on the keeper. Played one quarter. No score here. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Gives it to the back. He's into the open field. Brought down around the 25-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. He 
taken down at the nine. Well, that's the fifth first down for this offense on this drive. The defense, you can look at them. Their hands are on their knees, hands are on their hips. They're looking tired. This offense right now has this defense exactly where they want it. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He is drilled the seven yard line. A two yard run by the halfback. From the seven yard line, second down. Touchdown, AM. So the halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. And he hits the PAT. A 10-play, 71-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Texas A&M to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He has some room. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. From their own 43-yard line. First down. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. it to the halfback on the screen. And down he goes at the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line. Third down. He fights forward to about the 49. A one-yard gain by the halfback. That makes this fourth and four. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He gets it away. This is a really nice punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Texas A&M up seven points. Move 14! Move 14! Makes it to the 34. From their own 34-yard line. It's first down. Nice run up the middle. That'll bring up second and three. It's third and eight. Ball on the 36. They'll go with a run once again, and they'll bring him down behind the line. Jamison awaiting the return. Trying 
give the defense credit, but right now I think four cases sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset, and they're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down at the 36. It's a good job by the defense to remain aggressive and minimize the yardage on that run. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Slings it. And they make the stop at the 43-yard line. The offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series. The defense is going to head to the sideline with a real sense of accomplishment, knowing that they've just shut this offense down. He makes it to the 25-yard line. So the Aggies' game plan is just what we've been seeing through a couple of quarters now. Give this guy the football and let him ram it down the defense's throat and just keep giving it to him until he gets tired or the defense gets tired. Well, the offensive line, I also think, deserves a lot of credit. You know, the, the back is the star. He's been getting most of the yards and most of the attention, but he's not doing it alone. The offensive line's paving the way and opening this thing up, and, and the running back's taking advantage of it. They've had a great first half. And he's going to be sacked. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you're definitely going to feel it the next day. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Texas A&M is up by a touchdown. Runs it and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened. Jamison fields it at the 40. Tackle at the 44. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. And he hits him hard at the 40. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. He rifles it. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. The spike will stop the clock. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. And he stops the clock with a spike. They're at the three. Second down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. 
Well, these days, you've got safeties playing up close to the line of scrimmage, almost like a fourth linebacker. The only way that you can keep them from cheating up is to take some chances downfield. Short over the middle. Touchdown, Texas! Touchdown. I thought the quarterback made a nice read right here. He checked off his receivers and went to the open running back. Will be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Texas lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball in the 29. So at the end of the half, we're even at seven in this one. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He's Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes, because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. That's going to do it at halftime, just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get some of the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, but wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad, Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese Davids, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. The handback picks up a yard. their own 26 yard line second down fires it out i credit the quarterback on that pass he made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down To him again, complete. They'll bring him down right around the 40. From the 40 yard line, first down. Play action. Tackle at the 30-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. A 
the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 25. Great tackle at the 16 yard line. There he goes. Touchdown, Aggies. He makes the PAT, a seven-play, 74-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 14-7. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. He's on the run. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 47-yard line, first down. that quickly incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Gets to about the 44 yard line. That makes it third and seven. Third down now and they need to get it down to the 37. He makes it to the 42-yard line. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. One thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Texas A&M is up a score. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. From their own 20-yard line, third down. Got it and brought down immediately. Jamison is back deep to return. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. No 
they run it left and a nice tackle right there. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. There's a strike complete. And he's level at the 49-yard line. to pitch it and now the ball is loose it's picked up tackle made around the 42 yard line and they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there Smith is back to receive Makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Texas A&M is up seven. Brought down around the 32-yard line. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. It's second and 11. Ball on the 32-yard line. We're headed to the fourth quarter, and both of these defenses are still stealing the show. So the Aggies with a touchdown lead. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Comes it right to his fullback. He's taken down right around midfield. the 50. It's first down. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Tries to get around the corner. He keeps it. And down he goes at the 35-yard line. the 35-yard line. First down. Just throws this one away. Texas A&M up seven points. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it third and seven. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. Here we go. He's scrambling. And he is drilled at the 22-yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. Couldn't hang on here in the fourth quarter. And this play is number eight on the drive. Here they come. And they get the sack. 
He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. It's the ninth play of the drive. complete over the middle and they make the stop at the 31 yard line loss of a yard they really just didn't have any room to work on that play the defense just suffocated them there fourth down they'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt less than three minutes in the game It's up, and he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Fires out to his wideout, and he's tackled around the 37-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. He's taken down around the 44-yard line. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. 200 check! 200 check! Caught open field, and he shoved out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. They come out in a five-wide set. Got a man. Watch out here. They'll bring him down around the 23-yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. From the 23 yard line, second down. Here we go. Green and eight. Deep pass to the end zone. Doesn't get there. It's always tough trying to put the ball out of the defender's reach, but where your guy can still come down with it inbounds. It takes a lot more precision than it looks. This is the ninth play of this drive. And they'll get him in the backfield. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. The kick is away. It's long enough. 
And he nails the long field goal. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 17-10, Texas A&M. Tackle at the 42. Well, they tried, but they couldn't get the ball back. Brad, they still have some time left, but it'll be up to their defense now to make a big play. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Texas will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. We're down to just a minute in this game. Nice run, and he's brought down. The Longhorns call a timeout. That's their second of the half. They get nice yardage on that run. The Longhorns using their third and final timeout. Under a minute left in the game. Takes a knee. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 17-10, Texas A&M. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.